Hey everyone, this here's a voiceover video. I ain't never done this before. Just found a new phone app here and trying it out. You have to let me know how it is. Currently, I'm just moving stuff uh, from one truck to the other, getting ready for Monday, getting gas ready for the saw uh, we got not a lot of snow but it's slipperier than heck a lot of ice so can't run the green truck too more out too much more out there without having issues leaving too slippery pain in the butt but uh, putting everything in the silver truck Getting it organized. A little while ago, I was working on the 028, and I fixed that tank breather issue that I was having. The whole line cracked. There's two grub screws inside of it, and it cracked right around the grub screws, but took a fuel line off of a weed whacker that was the same exact size and matched it and put the grubs in put it back together I just got done tuning it I'm gonna go get it I'll pull it out and you guys can listen to it it's close so I'll have to tune it in the woods the rest of the way Here she is. straighten out after it warms up or gets run some more it's all buggered up with fuel from it leaking so <laughs> hope that didn't blow anybody's eardrums out I think it's running pretty good for just a simple fix like that I'm glad it wasn't more I guess uh if you're watching in the video here I was unloading hardwood and there's a few sticks of popple in here too I had to move to higher ground it's too wet out there all this rain we got and snow on top it's just 
pretty darn scared of getting the skitter stuck because if I get that stuck I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do but there's a little bit of popple out there I'd hope the pile would add up a little faster but it's is what it is and if you're looking in the very bottom of the wood wood on the bed there there's a couple of uh, cherry bolts that I'll have to sort but it won't be in this video I think it'll be too long uh, not sure if I can add it together here with having the voiceover going I'm gonna let you watch this for a minute I'm gonna go get some more stuff organized I always keep a second loggers tape on me. I just pulled that out of the other truck here. I didn't want to forget that. Break one out in the woods. It's nice to have a second one. And you're sitting there fiddling around trying to get all your measurements back and go through a big hassle. Grabbing jumper cables for if it gets cold enough out, I gotta put the hook the truck up to the skitter the battery wears down pretty fast on there so far I've only had to do that one time thirty degree days or just under thirty degrees it seems to be okay Give her just a shot of ether and she fires right up. And uh, Valerie, she's been doing acrylic paintings. If anybody'd be interested in an acrylic painting, she just started doing them and they're turning out really nice. We had a friend come over this weekend and he made a couple of paintings too. Wants to uh, use his and hers for. Uh, if any of you'd be interested, anyways, to help support uh, the Valerie Strong, I'll have to make a video here of them. Get them posted for y'all. Look at. If anybody would be interested, all you got to do is just message me and, I don't know, I guess you could PayPal it and we could get it shipped out. Oh, and before I forget, I've been having issues with our mail service here. I've been trying to send out wristbands a couple times here. And mailman put a note on him saying that he can't ship them out they got to be taken to the post office to be shipped out I don't know why it doesn't make any sense but we're gonna have to take them into the post office I guess and get them shipped out this week I think there's I don't know, three of them 
three of them that they left in there, but they've taken a couple other ones that we had, no problem. I don't know what the deal is. And then she got something in the mail the other day too. I think it was yesterday. She was supposed to get something in the mail and they left a thing in there saying that nobody was home to sign for it, but yet we were sitting, watched the mailman pull right up. And the son of a gun never even came up to the house for us to sign for it or nothing. They just left a note. So I think it's just laziness. Don't want to do anything or something. I don't know what the heck. But such is life. I got to go and grab another saw here. And I'm going to take bar and chain off the 372 and put it on the 570. And I'll use that as a backup saw for the 028. Ain't no sense in taking the 372 for all that baby wood I've been cutting. So I'm going to do that now. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll let you finish watching. Well, I'm back again. I hope this works here. I put the attached the rest of this video to this one. Otherwise, it would have only been 12 minutes long. I don't know how I made it work, but I did. So either way, I'll talk to you guys yet while I'm swapping parts from saws here. Um. I've been online looking for some saw pants, not chaps, but actual saw pants. I don't know. I just don't like chaps that much because sticks and crap and snow packs in behind them, and I'd rather just have the pants themselves. I've seen a nice pair of Husqvarna on eBay that I like. They sure don't give them away. About two hundred dollars for them. So open here. I guess it'd probably be smart to be a little safer out in the woods, considering I'm the only one out there right now. A lot of stupid stuff's been happening. So about time to get on the safety. Camp. open here if I can get a couple more loads to go out I'm gonna get some on the way and I'm just waiting for that doctor bill to come in the mail for my hand see how much that thing is I don't have health insurance so that'll be interesting but it is what it is yours keep going Uh, chain fitted right now. Did buy a whole set of new bar nuts. And I think I want to put some new bar nuts on real quick. Ones that are on the 570 aren't the greatest from the day I got it. I don't think they're original to the saw to begin with. Gotta find these here real quick.
Well, I'm not sure what the heck I did with them here. I know I had them in the green truck. Hmm. Interesting. Well, either way, I'm going to shut this down here for a minute and see if I can go locate them. Well, I found them. I already swapped them to the other truck and didn't even think about it. But putting them on right now, keep my chain adjusted. Hope this voiceover video, I don't know. If you guys like them, I can do more of them. As long as this turns out good, you have to let me know. Trying not to be boring. Sometimes I feel my videos are boring, which they probably are. Sorry for your eardrums here in a second. I'm gonna fire this up, run the chain a little bit, and see if it loosens up on it so I can snug it back up again. Perfect. Didn't loosen up on me at all. Oh, we're at the point here where I'm at the last two uh, bolts. Basically, I was, uh, I pick them up here, you'll see me spin them around. I'm just checking to make sure there's no real defects in the butt ends and that they're of size. We can go down to eight inches on these guys. Just making sure they're straight enough, straight enough, and checked out for me to put them in the pile. Otherwise, it's just a waste of. Uh, I could just put them in the pulp, and the pulp pile add up faster. Although it's not the best thing to do, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna get off of here. This is almost over anyhow. So. Thanks for watching everybody, thanks all the new subscribers and everybody that's donated to Valerie Strong. Later.